our skill enhancement, uh, which we use a lot for athletes, the first 10 minutes are an alpha, and that's when they practice deep breathing. And that's also when they focus on the emotional aspects of their game, in a sense. They, they imagine a game that they played really well in the past and how good it felt. And they try to identify today with this great peak performance event they had in their past because we want to get them into that mindset. So they just visualize that. How did I feel? How, what can I, you know, they, they smell it, they taste it, they feel it, they experience it. And then the, the session will, will switch to uh, alternate stim and it goes left, right, left, right. And suddenly it, it kind of wakes you up because a lot of these people are, are borderline conscious and we don't want them falling asleep. So we shift, we dramatically change that pattern and then we spin it up to 20 uh, because when you're actually a- executing a task like that, you're probably very engaged in beta. And well, golfers don't need to be too fast, but a lot of other uh, uh, sports do need to be very engaged. But for other guys, it's important, or maybe a, even a pool player, but other guys, it's important. And so it spins up to 20. And this is where they actually visualize the execution of the game. So you're a tennis player. You imagine just hitting that ball so that it clears the net by, you know, one inch in the far corner where the opponent isn't, and he's scrambling over. And while he's running over to retrieve the ball, you're anticipating where it's going to go. So you're in position when it comes back. And you visualize the actual execution, the mechanics of that skill set, whether it's a game or whether even dentists were using it. When I used to teach this to dentists, they said they could do better dentistry faster. So, yeah, we're using that dual concept, I think, is a very smart idea, a prep period for 10 or 15 minutes, and then they slide into the actual uh, mindset you want them to be in.